Hi, Merry Christmas. I got you something. I've created a pack of five free fusion effects for DaVinci Resolve. One of them brings simple color correction to the edit page, two of them are for simple masking, one is for 3D text, and the other is to turn any image into a 3D plane. This is all functionality that exists in other places in DaVinci Resolve, but what I've done is package these up into presets so you can use them all on the edit page without having to dive into the color page or the fusion page. And I'm gonna quickly walk through all of them, but first I wanna say that I am very thankful for every single person that has watched my videos in 2020. I uploaded my first tutorial on May 24th and I have been repeatedly blown away every time we have hit a new milestone, every time we have expanded our audience just a little bit. And I know that this is just the beginning. I have so many big ideas for 2021 and I'm so excited to help more people jump into this program that I am very excited about. But with that said, let's check out these new free effects. All of these effects will live on the edit page in DaVinci Resolve in the effects library down here in effects. We have our two normal effects, but then fusion effects. And the first one we are gonna check out is this SSC color corrector. I'm gonna drag that onto one of these clips I've brought out. And if we click on that, go to our inspector and navigate over to effects, you'll see that here we have a range of basic color control options. You can change things like the overall hue, the saturation, but you also have this range setting, which makes this super powerful. If I reset this effect really quick and go to range, I can change this to select the entire image, just the shadows, just the midtones, or just the highlights. So if I go to this highlights and I just saturate those highlights, you'll see that these brighter images get much more saturated. And then if I then go to shadows and pull down the saturation, maybe mid-tones as well, built down the saturation a bit. You'll see that this is almost a grayscale image, except the bright areas of the screen are now super colorful. You can obviously do a lot of creative things like this with this effect, but it can also cover a lot of your basic color correction controls. If you just want a little more saturation and a little more contrast, you can just apply this effect, bump those up without having to jump to the color page. Next, we have two basic masking effects. We have circle mask and rectangle mask. First, I'm gonna grab this rectangle mask, drop it onto this clip, and you'll see that instantly it crops down this image. But again, if we go to the inspector effects, you'll see that we have a list of custom controls. The first being how much we want to soften the edge of that mask. Then we can change the height and width. But if we know we want this mask to be small in frame, we can bring that down and then I'll pull down the softness and maybe pull up the corner radius so we have this nice rounded edge. But then we also have these settings to change the footage center, which will shift the image behind the mask. So if I move this over to this sign right now, but then I want to change the position of the masked image in the frame, and then I have these position controls so I can move this anywhere in frame and then even a dedicated size control after that. This is something that wouldn't be terribly difficult on the Fusion page, but bringing this to the edit page makes the entire process much easier. And the circle mask is similar. I will drag that onto this next clip, go to the inspector, and here we have that same soft edge control, individual height and width settings. And we can shift the image behind that and shift its overall position and size. Next, we're gonna check out a very simple 3D text preset. Unlike the other effects, this will be in the effects library under titles, and you can scroll down to SSC 3D text, then drag that onto your timeline, and instantly you will see this very basic 3D text. But just like before, select that clip, go into the inspector, and here you have all these custom controls. You can change the text itself, things like the font, color, the size, and the tracking, but then you have these 3D options. You have things like its position in 3D space, Clicking the X, Y, and Z, you can push it back. You'll see if you bring it close to the camera, you actually see the light fall off. That's pretty cool. But if we bring that back, and then these X, Y, and Z are our rotation options. You can rotate all the way around the text. And at the top of these settings, you have this focal length option to simulate looking at this text through a wider or more zoomed in lens. And the last effect we're gonna check out is back in effects, and that is this 3D image plane. I'm gonna drag that onto this last clip, and at first, all it will look like is that it just zoomed down this clip in frame. If we click this, go to the inspector, jump over to the effects, you'll see that we have a few custom controls. Again, we have that same focal length control, but then we also have two sets of these X, Y, and Z parameters. The first one is for position, that is will move it around the image. And right now this looks like some standard X, Y, and Z transform just moving around this 2D image. 
but the second X, Y, and Z is for rotation, and this is rotation in 3D space. If I pull up this X, you'll see that this image is actually tied to a 3D plane and it is rotating it on the X axis. Same for the Y and the Z. So here we can create some really interesting looks. And then if I go and pull down this focal length to something like 18, it'll look like it pulls away, but really we are just seeing a wider field of view. So if we pull this Z position to come closer to the image, you'll see that now we're starting to get a really cool angled look at this image. If you're trying to show off gameplay, this can be a really interesting way to get a sort of distorted but stylized look at it. And I could even dial this up quite a bit more and then keyframe a move on this X position so this slowly slides across the screen, all in 3D space. So there you have it, your Christmas gift. Five free presets for DaVinci Resolve bringing some of the powerful functionality of the color infusion page to the edit page to make the entire thing much easier for you. A download link will be in the description. Please check that out and let me know. I do plan on iterating and improving on these. I already have a few ideas, but I wanted to get this video out in time for the holidays for anyone that might be messing around with this over the next few days. But if you are watching this video later, check out the presets. There are probably a few improvements in there as well. Thanks. I'll see you next time.